I have been in India since 2018 and I've been reflecting recently and thinking that I've learned quite a bit from this beautiful culture. So today, let's cover what I've learned. The last one I'll cover, I'm actually really proud of. I never thought I could do it. So stick around to the end of the video to see what it is. Baby Taj Mahal, leaving Agra Fort. Taj Mahal. Dude, it has been 562 days since I have used the beacon to my native land, the ode to my people, flies to keep my fingers dry. That's right, I'm talking about toilet paper. Truthfully, I haven't actually counted how many days I haven't used it, but there has only been one roll of TP in my house for over a year. I have no idea the last time I've used it. So I have successfully converted to a fully water bathroom system and I am happier and cleaner for it. I've also went 131 days since I've used AC air conditioning and I never thought I would give it up. Back in Texas and the first two years I was in India, I could not have went. I could not have lived without AC. I worshipped this device and spent hundreds of dollars every month on it some months. Some months I would run it so long that I would shiver underneath the blankets. But after running it a few times at the beginning of the summer, I decided to give it up and I am so loving this decision. Before I couldn't sleep without having blankets on and you can't do that when you're not running the AC. You'll sweat too much. Well, you will sweat anyway. But I've learned to adjust to sleeping without the cool air at night and I love that I don't have that jarring transition when I leave my cold air conditioned house out into the hot summer day. I'm always just hot and I'm kind of used Plus, to it. think about this. This is one of those habits that's going to save me thousands of dollars through the course of my life if I never run AC again. Because I do eventually want to settle down in a hot place, cold places. Ooh. And all that saved money can buy me a lot of chives and some trips around India. I also always used to look for a knife and a fork when I was out at restaurants and now I'm loving eating with my hands. Atali especially, without any cutlery as they call it here sometimes, is delicious. It's also more hygienic because I can wash my hands and know they're clean when some restaurants may be dubious as to whether the silverware is. It also makes the food taste better, which I like. It's fun. And apparently it stimulates digestion and helps you lose weight. If you like to eat with your hands too, give us a like to help this video go out to more the people. mosquitoes in India are deadly. I'll sometimes look at one fly by and then it's like it disappears into thin air. They're even able to get into my house some way. I have no idea how. But I have become a Jedi Knight warrior at killing them on a regular basis. But now I've heard that the mosquitoes are afraid of me. <laughs> One hour and 36 minutes before sunrise is a special time here in Indian culture. And I have been waking up at that time. Which can be as early as 3.40 in the morning. Now in America, it would be sort of weird to do such a thing. However, in India, this is a very auspicious time in their culture and in some ways, I'm feeling pretty cool because I do that. Well, I usually do. That. All right, I sometimes do. Okay, so I did it for a month. Watch the video of it, it's pretty good. I've also taken to not eating food sometimes. My family is so proud. I do it in the mornings, I do it at nights. Sometimes I do it for a whole day when I'm inspired by another YouTuber. Now I can't attest to its spiritual benefits, but I can say that I weigh the same as I once did in college, which was a couple years ago. If you've tried to learn something new, you may have heard the advice that you should learn from a master. So with this skill that I've learned, I have been studying from some masters, which are Indian. We're talking about negotiation, whether I'm in a market, trying to get a rickshaw, or even getting my chapals fixed. I've been schooled out of so many dollars here that it's not even funny. But I have learned a few things. Now I'm always ready for a negotiation. I try to get the price in quotes ahead of time. Don't wait till the end. And I'm willing to walk away if I'm not happy with the price. It's probably saved me a few bucks. And speaking of saving money, I have saved a lot of money here. Not only because the cost of living is 60% less than in the USA, 
But I buy less stuff. No Amazon Prime, no Netflix subscription. I focus on a simple life and so far I'm loving it. And I've saved $27,000 in one year in comparison from when I was living in the USA. Indians also tend to be masters at the DIY skill known here as Jugad in Hindi. Now I was always pretty decent at this, but I've even taken my skills to the next level with this masterwork. This is a regulation weight, aesthetically pleasing, and top muscle building piece of gear called the kettlebell. I built it right before lockdown when I couldn't use Amazon anymore, and so far it is helping out if I do say so myself. Now I've never been a culinary whiz of any sort. I can live on the same food every day, pretty much for months, especially if that food is pizza. But here in India, I have gotten to really love the tali, the lunchtime dish that is found across many parts of India, varies widely, but at first, most Indian food tasted very similar and very spicy. But now I see the culinary genius behind many of the dishes in the tali with flavor profiles. Maybe is that a thing? Flavor profiles that complement each other from spicy to sour to sweet to other flavors that I'm not aware of. And I'm noticing a diverse, delicious experience almost every time that I have one of these delicious All right, meals. that's what I've learned. For more about what I've learned about this beautiful country and culture, check out this video.